Hello everyone, I am back today with our second video on Pisanka eggs. I have to say if you hear a little bit of background noise, it's just my baby um, crawling around on the floor next to me. He wanted to kind of make an appearance of his voice today. Uh, so this is what we made in our last, uh, our last time together. We had drawn our outline of our Pisanka eggs and uh, colored it with crayon or oil pastel. The materials you will need today are either some watercolor paints or you can use food coloring in a little bit of water. So that's what I will do in case you don't have your watercolor paints. You are going to, I have um, a tray here, but if you don't have an artist palette like this, you could use a muffin tin very similar or just a cup even. So this cup has some painting water in it. I'm just going to put a little bit in my mixing tray. Maybe I can hold this with one hand and show you. And I'm going to put some yellow food coloring. I think two drops should be plenty since this is just a little bit of paint or a little bit of water. Traditional pasanka eggs are, uh, a, you know, an egg or an egg shell. Sometimes they'll take the uh, egg yolk out of it, or you can just hard boil it. The, the artist will use wax to draw their design. That's why we use wax crayons to draw our design on paper, but a typical artist would draw with wax on an egg, and then they would dip it into a dye. In the coloring sheet that I uh, sent you a link for in the description of that last video. It tells you what all of those colors meant. So maybe you uh, want to decide uh, what color you're using and you're going to uh, kind of have a reason for that color. So what we're doing, instead of dipping our whole paper into a color, we are going to use our paintbrush. So I just made that yellow watercolor with yellow food coloring and water. And I am going to see if I can hold this for you. And I'm going to paint over the whole paper. Now, we know that when I do this, the drawing will not move because it is wax and it is not affected by the paint. It's not going to move. So I'm going to finish this really quickly. You can see I'm using a very large brush, almost as big as my eye. I will finish this really quickly and show you. I'm being kind of messy, aren't I? I'm not staying in my lines. I am just going really quickly and filling all this in because what you can do once this is dry, let's see here. So I have my egg all painted. I'm using a coloring book as my background here. Once I have it all painted, I am going to use some scissors and cut it out. And then I can glue it onto some a colored background. So I have here uh, a couple, this is a different coloring book and a folder. Unfortunately, I don't have colored paper at my house. Isn't that interesting? But I am going to get some and finish this up and I will insert a picture of our finished product or maybe I can very quickly see how fast I can finish cutting out my egg. Uh, I would love to see some of your finished projects. So if you want to have your parents email me pictures of you with your finished pasanka egg, I would love that. So let's see what this looks like on my teal blue background. If I had some uh, a glue stick, I could glue that down. It would look really cool. Or what would it look like on this pink background? Oh, I also love that. I think that one looks really neat. Okay, well that is our easy way to finish off our Pasanka eggs, our wax resist project for Easter. Hopefully I will be uh, seeing you again on uh, another video for a new project after Easter. I hope you enjoyed this project and I will talk to you all later. Bye!